Well, have you ever been stuck in the produce section at the grocery store wondering whether you should splurge on the organic strawberries versus the non-organic ones? Or how about a food that is labeled natural? Ever wonder what that really means? Some of these are labeled with very good reason, but others can sort of feel like a food trap. Nutritionist Deborah Enos is here to help us understand organic and that natural claim. Uh, because when we're shopping, it can be very confusing and it also can be very expensive depending very expensive. on what you'd buy. So first, exactly natural. Right. What does that mean? I fall for this all the time because I think, well, maybe I don't want to splurge on organic, but natural sounds really good. Mm -hmm. And you think as a nutritionist and a wellness coach, I wouldn't fall for it, but I do. And natural, the, the FDA has not defined the term. Okay. So people can use it in whatever context they want. So according to Consumer Reports, when people see the word natural, 73% are more likely to buy it because they think organic is too expensive. And I have certainly fallen into that trap as well. So there is no FDA definition of what natural means. So you could see it on some really bad junk food. Anything. So right. be very careful. Red dye be, could be natural. It really, you know, there's all these things that okay. could be, that be, people think it's organic or maybe it's non-GMO and it's not. Natural is just a label. really a label. Okay, right. so how about organic? Is there something to that? Right, that is a great, um, great definition. Uh, it's, uh, so for organic, there is a legal definition and it's non-GMO, it has no fertilizer, um, that's synthetic, same thing with pesticides, and bonus, no sewage sludge. What? <laughs> so that's the other definition. So wait, of if we're not buying organic, we're getting sewage I'm sludge? I'm hoping that that's not the case, but if you buy organic, it's guaranteed to not have any sewage sludge in it. And I had to look that up and you probably don't even want to discuss what that is. Not but really. Yeah, so it's not good. But, hmm. but organic, you can always trust that label when it says organic and it's got the USDA stamp of approval, you're good. Okay, so we talked about how expensive some of this can be, right. especially organic. So on what products do we want to make that extra splurge and buy organic? Organic. Yes. So there's a great website called the Environmental Working Group, which I've been following for years. And so it's a, it's an organization that's really about showing people where they can spend their money, where they don't have to spend their money. And so there are certain things you should always buy organic. One of those at the top of their list is strawberries. Okay. So I want to cue okay. the dirty dozen because strawberries, as you can see, top that list. Right. Where are the other foods that you're saying are probably better to buy organic. Exactly right. And so th this dirty dozen, this is where you're going to want to splurge on your food budget dollar. Um, strawberries specifically in the study, and this is USDA and FDA, found that 99% um, of strawberries grown conventionally have pesticide residue. Wow. They often use poisonous gases that have been used for chemical warfare. That's how they sanitize their field and prep their field before they put the strawberries in. Oh my goodness. So, so as, you, right. as you're looking, that would be top of the list. Top now, of the list. Now yes. there's 15 clean. There's the clean produce, 15, the which clean is 15. fantastic. So there's certain things in there. And, and what I love about this study is that the way they've been researched is the same way you're going to eat them at home. So they've been cleaned, and if it's appropriate to peel them, obviously bananas, but they're also peeled before they go into the study. So that's what I really like about this Clean 15. Avocado is a perfect example. You know, it's got a pretty thick skin. It's not going to, you know, pesticides are not really going to penetrate that. So this is a great one to be buying and not have to buy organic. Oh, that's and that's a really good list. It's uh, a great Deborah list. Reno, thank you for helping yes. us decipher organic and natural and knowing what to buy and not have any sewer sludge yes, that's in our a good produce. Tip. <laughs> For more of our healthy living segments, you can go to q13fox.com slash healthy living.